Iran's unveiling of a new laser-equipped submarine sent shockwaves through the global defense community. This development, seen as a major leap in Iran's military capabilities, represents a bold statement of the nation's determination to enhance its defense technologies and exert its influence in an already tense geopolitical landscape. The submarine, which Iran claims to have laser-based weaponry, reflects significant advancements in both naval warfare and energy-directed weapons, raising serious concerns in the global military arena. This unprecedented move has forced countries across the world, particularly in the West, to reconsider the military balance in the region. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The Islamic Republic of Iran has long been a regional power in the Middle East, and its military advancements are often shrouded in mystery. However, Iran's history of military innovation should not be underestimated. For decades, Iran has been pursuing an ambitious agenda to enhance its military autonomy, particularly due to the heavy sanctions and restrictions placed upon it by Western powers. These sanctions, intended to curb the nation's potential to develop nuclear weapons, have instead fueled Iran's motivation to innovate and diversify its military technologies. The revelation of a laser-equipped submarine is one of the clearest signs of Iran's increasing technological capabilities. For years, Iran has invested heavily in developing its naval forces. The country has focused particularly on asymmetric warfare, leveraging fast attack boats, midget submarines, and shore-based missile batteries. This naval doctrine aims to counter the vastly superior naval forces of adversaries such as the United States, which has a formidable presence in the region with its fleet patrolling the Persian Gulf. The addition of a laser-equipped submarine to Iran's arsenal suggests a new level of sophistication. Submarines are already considered one of the most elusive and dangerous weapons in naval warfare, able to launch attacks from underwater without being easily detected. Adding laser technology to this platform dramatically enhances its potential. Although details about the precise capabilities of this laser submarine remain scarce, the mere concept of a submarine armed with laser weaponry is a game changer in military strategy. Laser weapons, once considered science fiction, have become an increasingly realistic and practical technology in modern warfare. Lasers offer significant advantages over conventional weapons, particularly in their precision, speed, and ability to target and disable enemy systems with minimal collateral damage. Unlike traditional missiles or torpedoes, which require significant payloads and can be intercepted by defense systems, lasers travel at the speed of light, making them nearly impossible to evade or counter. Additionally, they require no ammunition in the traditional sense, relying instead on energy sources that can be replenished as long as the submarine's power systems are operational. Iran's development of this technology could significantly alter naval combat. A submarine equipped with a laser weapon could potentially disable or destroy enemy vessels, aircraft, or even incoming missiles before they can pose a threat. This capability would allow Iran to project power far beyond its current reach, posing a serious challenge to U.S. and allied forces in the region. The strategic implications are profound. A laser-equipped submarine would give Iran a new tool to enforce its claims over the Persian Gulf and the Strait of Hormuz, a vital maritime choke point through which a significant portion of the world's oil supplies pass. Furthermore, the psychological impact of this revelation cannot be underestimated. The idea of a submarine lurking beneath the waves, armed not with traditional missiles or torpedoes, but with a futuristic and virtually unstoppable laser weapon, is a chilling prospect for any military strategist. For Iran's adversaries, particularly those relying heavily on naval assets to project power in the region, this development represents a significant new threat that must be accounted for. Iran's decision to reveal this new submarine at this particular time is also significant. The announcement comes amid a period of heightened tensions in the Middle East, with ongoing conflicts in Syria, Yemen, and Iraq, as well as increasing friction between Iran and Israel. The timing suggests that Iran is not only demonstrating its military prowess, but also sending a clear message to its adversaries. It is prepared to defend its interests, and it now possesses the technological means to do so in ways that were previously unimaginable. The introduction of laser weaponry also raises questions about the broader implications for global arms control. Laser weapons, particularly when deployed on platforms like submarines, represent a new frontier in warfare that existing treaties and regulations 
are ill-equipped to address. While there are international agreements in place to limit the proliferation of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons, there are currently no comprehensive frameworks governing the development and use of directed energy weapons. This gap in international law could lead to a new arms race, as nations scramble to develop their own laser weaponry or find ways to counter it. From a technological standpoint, the challenges associated with developing a laser-equipped submarine are immense. Lasers require vast amounts of energy to operate, and generating and sustaining this power underwater presents significant engineering hurdles. Additionally, the effectiveness of laser weapons can be affected by environmental factors such as water vapor, temperature, and particulate matter, all of which are present in the marine environment. Overcoming these obstacles suggests that Iran has made significant advances not only in laser technology, but also in submarine design and energy generation. The global reaction to Iran's unveiling of its laser-equipped submarine has been one of shock and concern. In the United States, military analysts and policymakers are scrambling to assess the potential impact of this new weapon on U.S. naval operations in the region. Given the U.S. Navy's heavy reliance on aircraft carriers and other surface vessels, the prospect of facing a submarine equipped with a high-powered laser weapon is deeply unsettling. The U.S. has invested heavily in developing its own laser weapon systems, but Iran's success in deploying such a system on a submarine suggests that the technological gap between the two nations may be narrower than previously thought. In Europe, the reaction has been similarly apprehensive. Many European countries have deep economic ties to the Middle East, particularly in the energy sector, and the possibility of increased instability in the region is a major concern. European military planners are now forced to consider how to defend their interests in the region against a new and highly advanced Iranian threat. Some have even suggested that this development could lead to a renewed push for international negotiations aimed at limiting the proliferation of advanced weaponry in the Middle East. China and Russia, both of which have complex relationships with Iran, have been more measured in their responses. Both countries have traditionally viewed Iran as a counterbalance to U.S. influence in the Middle East, and they have been more willing to engage with Iran on military and economic issues. However, even they are likely to be cautious about the potential ramifications of Iran's new submarine. Both countries have invested heavily in their own naval forces, and the introduction of laser-equipped submarines into the global military landscape could force them to rethink their own naval strategies. Israel, Iran's most vocal regional adversary, is undoubtedly the most alarmed by this development. Israel has long been concerned about Iran's growing military capabilities, particularly its missile and drone programs. The addition of a laser submarine to Iran's arsenal would further complicate Israel's efforts to maintain a military edge in the region. Israeli military officials have already expressed concern that such a weapon could be used to target Israeli naval assets or even infrastructure on land. This development could lead to a further escalation of tensions between the two countries, with Israel potentially seeking to develop or acquire new technologies to counter this threat. Iran's revelation also has significant implications for the future of submarine warfare in general. Traditionally, Submarines have been valued for their stealth and ability to launch surprise attacks using torpedoes or missiles. The introduction of laser technology to submarines changes this dynamic, potentially making submarines even more versatile and dangerous. Future submarines may be equipped with a range of directed energy weapons, capable of engaging targets at sea, in the air, or even on land. This shift could lead to a new era of naval warfare, where the traditional boundaries between different types of military platforms are increasingly blurred. The strategic importance of this development cannot be overstated. Iran's laser-equipped submarine represents a major leap forward in military technology and has the potential to shift the balance of power in the Middle East. It also raises serious questions about the future of naval warfare and the role that directed energy weapons will play in global military strategy. As nations around the world scramble to respond to this new threat, the potential for an arms race in laser weaponry is real. For Iran, the development of this submarine is more than just a military achievement. It is a statement of national pride and technological prowess. Despite years of sanctions and international pressure, 
Iran has demonstrated its ability to innovate and develop cutting-edge military technologies. The unveiling of this submarine is likely to be seen as a major victory for the Iranian government, both domestically and internationally. It also serves as a reminder to the world that Iran is a force to be reckoned with in the global military arena. The Persian Gulf and the surrounding waters have long been a focal point of tension between Iran and Western nations, particularly the United States. The strategic significance of the region, especially the Strait of Hormuz, cannot be overstated. The strait serves as a critical choke point for global oil supplies, with an estimated one-third of the world's seaborne oil passing through it. Any disruption to this vital passage could have catastrophic consequences for global energy markets, and Iran has repeatedly used this fact as a strategic lever in its geopolitical maneuvering. Iran's introduction of a laser submarine into this already volatile equation dramatically shifts the balance of power in the region. The United States, with its fifth fleet stationed in Bahrain, has long maintained a dominant naval presence in the Gulf to ensure the safe passage of oil and to deter any potential Iranian aggression. However, the presence of a laser-equipped submarine complicates this dynamic. Submarines are notoriously difficult to detect, and the added stealth and firepower of a laser weapon on board such a vessel could potentially give Iran the capability to disable or destroy key assets of the U.S. Navy or its allies with unprecedented speed and precision. One of the most concerning aspects of Iran's laser submarine is the potential for asymmetric warfare. Iran has already demonstrated a keen interest in using unconventional tactics to achieve its strategic objectives. From the use of swarming fast attack boats to the deployment of sophisticated missile and drone systems, Iran has consistently sought to offset the overwhelming superiority of its adversaries through innovative and often unpredictable means. The laser submarine fits neatly into this doctrine of asymmetric warfare. By leveraging the unique capabilities of a laser-equipped submarine, Iran could engage in a wide variety of offensive and defensive actions that would be difficult for its opponents to counter. For example, in the event of a conflict in the Persian Gulf, Iran could use the submarine to disrupt the naval operations of the U.S. or Allied forces by targeting their ships or aircraft with precision strikes. Such an approach would enable Iran to punch well above its weight, making it a far more formidable adversary in any potential confrontation. Moreover, Iran's laser submarine could play a critical role in its broader strategy of anti-access-slash-area denial, a 2-slash-AD. A 2-slash-AD is a military doctrine aimed at preventing an adversary from entering a specific area, or, if they do enter, making it extremely costly and difficult for them to operate. Iran has been honing its A2-slash-AD capabilities for years, developing a range of systems, including anti-ship missiles, mines, and coastal defense batteries, designed to deter and delay an external naval force from gaining control of the waters around Iran. The laser submarine adds another layer to this strategy, offering a mobile and difficult-to-detect platform that could potentially neutralize key enemy assets before they even enter the combat zone. The geopolitical ramifications of Iran's new submarine are equally significant. The Middle East is already a highly unstable and fragmented region, with numerous state and non-state actors vying for power and influence. Iran has positioned itself as a leading power within this complex landscape, not only through its military capabilities but also through its extensive network of allies and proxies across the region. From Hezbollah in Lebanon to the Houthis in Yemen, Iran has cultivated relationships with various groups that share its interests and serve as force multipliers for its strategic goals. The laser submarine, therefore, could be seen not just as a tool for direct military engagement, but also as a means of reinforcing Iran's influence over these proxy forces. By demonstrating its ability to develop and deploy advanced technologies, Iran strengthens its position as a regional leader capable of offering both material and ideological support to its allies. This could embolden its proxies to pursue more aggressive actions, knowing that Iran has the technological capability to support them if needed. Additionally, Iran's new military capabilities could serve as a deterrent to other regional actors. Saudi Arabia, Iran's chief rival in the Middle East, has invested heavily in its military, particularly in advanced air defense systems and offensive capabilities, often with the support of Western nations. 
the unveiling of the laser submarine forces Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states to reconsider their own military strategies, as they may no longer be able to rely on traditional forms of military deterrence to contain Iran. This shift could lead to a new regional arms race, with other nations seeking to develop or acquire similar capabilities to counter the Iranian threat. The potential for escalation in the region is a serious concern. Iran's military advances, particularly in the field of laser weaponry, could lead to a miscalculation or unintended conflict. Historically, the Persian Gulf has been a flashpoint for military incidents, with various confrontations between Iranian forces and those of the US and its allies. The presence of a laser submarine in these waters adds another layer of complexity to an already fraught situation as any perceived provocation or misunderstanding could quickly spiral into a broader conflict. The international community, particularly global powers such as Russia and China, will be closely watching how the situation unfolds. Both countries have complex and often contradictory relationships with Iran, and their responses to the laser submarine could significantly impact the global balance of power. Russia, for example, has been a key ally of Iran in Syria and has provided military and economic support to Tehran in defiance of Western sanctions. However, Russia also has its own interests in the Middle East, and the introduction of a laser submarine into the equation could disrupt the delicate power dynamics in the region, potentially leading to a reassessment of Russia's strategy. China, on the other hand, has increasingly sought to expand its influence in the Middle East, particularly through economic investments and trade agreements. China's dependence on Middle Eastern oil makes the stability of the region a critical concern for Beijing. While China has maintained cordial relations with Iran, it has also cultivated ties with other Gulf states and Israel. And any escalation of tensions could threaten China's broader strategic goals in the region. The laser submarine, therefore, could force China to take a more active role in shaping the security architecture of the Middle East either by offering its own technological solutions or by mediating between the various actors. One of the most pressing questions raised by the development of the laser submarine is how other nations will respond in terms of military technology. The potential for a new arms race is significant, particularly in the field of directed energy weapons. While several nations, including the US, have been developing laser weapon systems for years, Iran's successful deployment of such a system on a submarine may accelerate efforts in other countries to do the same. The US military, for example, has already invested heavily in laser weapons research with projects such as the Navy's Laser Weapon System, LAWS, and the Army's Directed Energy Maneuver, Short Range Air Defense, DM Shorad, showing promising results. However, integrating these systems onto submarines, particularly in a way that is operationally effective in the marine environment, remains a significant challenge. Iran's apparent success in this area will likely spur renewed efforts in the U.S. and other nations to overcome these challenges, leading to a rapid expansion of directed energy weapons research and development. The broader implications for global arms control are also significant. Directed energy weapons, including lasers, represent a new class of military technology that existing arms control frameworks are poorly equipped to regulate. While there are treaties in place governing the proliferation of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons, there is no comprehensive international agreement that addresses the development or use of directed energy weapons. This gap in the regulatory framework could lead to an unchecked proliferation of these systems, with nations around the world racing to develop and deploy their own laser-equipped platforms. The potential for misuse of directed energy weapons is another area of concern. Lasers, unlike traditional kinetic weapons, can be used for a variety of non-lethal applications, such as disabling or blinding enemy sensors or communications systems. However, the same technology that allows for precision targeting and minimal collateral damage could also be used for more nefarious purposes, such as disrupting civilian infrastructure or blinding pilots and other personnel. The lack of clear international norms governing the use of these weapons increases the risk that they could be used in ways that violate established rules of engagement or international law. In light of these concerns, there may be a renewed push for international arms control agreements focused on directed energy weapons. Such agreements could establish guidelines for the development and use of these technologies, as well as mechanisms for verification and enforcement. However, achieving consensus on such a framework would be challenging, particularly given the strategic advantages that directed energy weapons offer. 
Nations that have invested heavily in these systems may be reluctant to agree to restrictions that could limit their military capabilities, especially if they perceive their adversaries to be gaining an edge in this area. Iran's decision to develop and reveal its laser submarine is not just a military achievement. It is also a reflection of its broader strategic objectives. For years, Iran has sought to position itself as a regional power capable of defending its interests and projecting influence across the Middle East. Despite facing significant economic and diplomatic challenges, including the impact of international sanctions, Iran has continued to invest in its military, particularly in areas where it can offset the overwhelming conventional superiority of its adversaries. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what do you expect will happen next in response to this reveal? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.